Hello and thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech. This is a channel where we explore new trends in technology like cloud computing, machine learning, Python programming and similar. Today we are going to look at EasyCopy which is a command line utility that can be used to copy blobs or files between storage accounts. And um, we can e use either uh, two authentication methods. One is SAS which is shared access signature or OAuth with Azure Active Directories. Both methods allow us or a user to send and receive files from your local system and storage accounts which can be in, in uh, anywhere in the cloud. And um, the AZ copy is an executable file which can be downloaded to any directory on the computer and um, there is no installation required. You just run the file directly. A quick note about my environment. So uh, you can see I'm open the web page to easy copy which provides all the information you can download um, the required executable or tar file for your system and I also have easy cop I also have Azure homepage I'm logged in a uh, quick note here um, in my previous tutorials which I'm going to put a link in uh, I've shown how you can deploy on Linux and Windows today we're going to show you easy copy on Linux um, authenticated by Azure Active Directory. So in the previous tutorials you can um, go and check how you can create uh, storage accounts as shown here. Um, I've created Infoverse Blob 1 and Infoverse Blob 2 and similarly how you can create um, users in Azure, Azure um, Active Directory. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to do is uh, log into my Linux box and uh, let me do a listing and you can see in green is the AZ copy uh, which is our executable file so uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to copy or uh, before I do that I have to log in so I've already executed that step which is um, a command which says AZ copy and login and you have to provide the tenant ID which again I have um, described in my previous tutorials how you can access the uh, tenant ID. Uh, put it here in the command and you can run that. And I can show you the what is the command syntax but I will not be running it here as um, I've already shown that before. So that's the command syntax. Uh, once you provide the tenant ID it will take you to a page. You authenticate with the username um, and, and password that you've already created with the Active Directory and they will allow it to log in. Okay since I'm already logged in um, let's uh, do this. Let's um, copy uh, a file from my local directory to Infoverse Blob 1 in the cloud. So let me just uh, go where my uh, files are. So should be let me check. So I should be in images folder so if I do an ls you can see I have a bunch of files I also have another directory called from Azure and let me show you that it is empty right now so I have about five or six of these files ending in PNG and uh, JPG and let's take one of the files and copy it into Infoverse blob one and this is a container and let me just sh double check so it's empty that's good. Okay, we're going back and let me show you the command to do that. So I'll be copying one of the files. Let me bring the command and I'll explain it. So this is a home in Proverbs downloads AZ copy underscore Linux and AZ copy. So this part is my beginning of my command so I'm pointing to where my easy copy is and then followed with the copy which is CP the file that I want to copy which is plans.jpg and it should be a file here right so I'm referencing that file and um, destination so this is the becomes the source and this is the destination destination is the HTTPS easy copy storage triple line dot blob dot core and info is blob one so again this information you can copy 
from the Azure account and I've also shown that in the previous videos so once um, uh, we have this command let's run that so it's now going for that authentication to the destination and since I've already logged in and I've authenticated um, it does allow me so let's see number of transfers completed one let's go here and let's check so as you can see it copied plans.jpg right in Azure so that's good um, now let's go back and see how we can copy a bunch of files so as you saw we have a number of files here let's say I want to copy all of them so all I just need to do is repeat the same command let me just bring it up here and I need to change this or let's say I just want to copy all the JPG files right so asterisk.jpg so all the files that are ending with JPG I should copy them if I run that so the five files and it's copying them okay sometimes it does run a little bit slow but it did copy let's see so let's do a refresh and that should pick up the rest of the files so there you go so we were able to copy all the files now we can also copy uh, the other files let's say we had I believe we had some PNG files as well so we can see if we can access those and again you know it authenticates connects and whichever files it finds so we don't see it here we need to do a refresh once I do a refresh it should also pick up the PNG file so there's just one of them it picked that up as well okay let's go back and so I showed you how you can copy one file you can copy a bunch of files and let's do the reverse now I want to um, get some or download some files that are on my Azure account or somewhere in the cloud and I want to download them in on my local machine very uh, common use case so we're just going to reverse the command and let me show you how that's going to look let me just clear so get some more room okay so here what we are saying is the source is home infoverse downloads easy copy easy copy so this is again this is um, just the beginning of the command copy the source is Windows, uh, sorry, um, Azure, Win and the destination is Home Infoverse Images from Azure. And remember, I showed you uh, I created the small directory inside Images folder, and it was empty at that time, just to show that once we copy, uh, how it will populate this directory. And you can see at the end of Infoverse Blob One, which is our container. We have a forward slash and an asterisk indicating that you copy down copy all the files that are in that container so it did run successfully so if I go here I'm sorry if I go here so these are the six files and we should see a copy of them on our uh, local system so if I go on my Linux box and I and I go into the Azure directory and I do an LS you see that uh, I have all of them listed here so all the files uh, that were in the Azure cloud in Proverse blob one container they've been successfully copied here so that was a very quick um, uh, tutorial showing you how you can run easy copy on Linux and um, be able to send and receive files between your local system and Azure cloud so thank you very much for watching and stay tuned um, do hit remember to hit the subscribe button and I'll uh, paste the links to the other tutorials here thank you for watching